Well, when the clock strikes 1201 in the morning, May 26th, for many people it will just be another Friday. But for Alabama fishermen, red snapper season will be in full swing or maybe half swing. The federal government has cut the amount of red snapper recreational fishermen can harvest nearly in half this year from 1 million pounds to about 600,000. NBC 15's Kara's Harmon joins us now. Kara, you spoke with a marine life professional today who says there are still plenty of red snapper to go around. Yeah, Kim, he tells me Alabama's coast is only 6% of the Gulf Coast, but it makes up 30% of the red snapper fishery in the Gulf Coast. According to researchers at the University of South Alabama, there are around seven and a half million red snapper in Alabama waters. Well, there's about 118 million red snapper Gulf wide. And we know that from research that South Alabama has really pioneered as well as our collaborators with other states. So red snapper isn't in jeopardy. And although there seems to be plenty of red snapper available for anglers fishing pleasure, the federal government says not so fast. The bag limits are about the same, so it's two fish. Uh, the minimum size for recreational anglers is 16 inches. Those have stayed the same. What is unclear is whether we will have the long season. The federal government has reduced the quota for the state of Alabama from about a million pounds last year to 600,000 pounds. But if Alabama waters are abundant with red snapper, why the restrictions? Well, Dr. Powers says it's because when the federal government is estimating the amount of red snapper, they're looking in the wrong places. One of the things that we found was that a lot of the areas that we, we find red snapper weren't being surveyed. That's why our number disagrees. So the federal stock assessment, the last version they had, they had 33 million red snapper in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, we found over 100 million. The cause for the quota drop. Dr. Powers says with the research produced at USA, they're trying to get the federal government on the same page about red snapper population, but it won't happen overnight. I think it will take about three years to reconcile our studies. He says red snapper are typically found in deep waters and in low density areas that fishermen don't typically frequent. Most of our fishermen target the more than 13,000 artificial reefs off Alabama. Alabama has one of the largest, if not the largest, artificial reef networks in the environment, uh, in the world. Power says there's a possibility that fishermen can use up that 60,000 pound quota before the summer's end. We're hoping 600,000 pounds is enough to go throughout the season. Last year, we only harvested 450,000. So while it was a, while this year it's a cut from 1 million to 600,000, we didn't even harvest 600,000 last year. So the fishermen should feel confident that red snapper will stay for a while. Last year, he says one of the reasons why red snapper wasn't harvested as much was because of bad weather the first three weekends of red snapper season, which is when most are caught. Kim?